So today we're going to be going over 10 reasons why you need Lanoui Delome Blue Electric, which is the newest, latest, and honestly, probably the greatest flanker in the Lanoui Delome lineup. And I gotta say, this one came out of left field for me when I initially saw this one pop up, you know, looking at the name, looking at the bottle, which is looking very similar to La Nuit de Lome O Electrique, which is a discontinued fragrance. I was starting to have my doubts a little bit. It obviously seemed like this was going to be somewhat the replacement of O Electrique. And so I didn't know if it was going to smell somewhat similar to that one. I didn't know if it was going to be their take on a... Uh, Ambroxan based Lanoui de Lone flanker, I had no idea. But when I got this one in and I smelled it for the first time, I was absolutely floored because this here really does have a lot of great things going for it and we're gonna be talking about that today. If you've been on the fence about this one, if you've watched my first impressions, if you've watched my reviews, if you've seen me feature it in videos and you're still just kind of on the fence and need a little bit more convincing to pull the trigger, maybe this video will be for you. Let's dive into this. So reason number one why you need this fragrance in your collection is it is an improved version of the original DNA from back in the day. So just to show this real quick here, I've got a couple uh, first formulation bottles of Lanoui de Lone. Here they are. They don't have too much in them. You know, this stuff does not go for a, uh, a, a light penny, that's for sure. Um, vintage Lanoui de Lome is incredibly expensive and there is a difference between vintage and modern. And just to show you this, uh, first formulation Lanoui de Lome has a four digit batch code. Don't know if this is gonna show up or not. Might just have to take my word for it. We'll see if it shows up better on this bottle. Yeah, it's not really working out too good, is it? Flashlight, there we go. We're struggling here. I don't know, we're just gonna take my word for it. Flashlight's not helping. Uh, both first formulation versions of La de Lome. This is a kind of interesting little travel size bottle they had back in the day. So here it is, man. This is uh, where it all started out. And so when I tell you that this has similarities to this pre-reformulation La Nuit de Lome, I'm not just making that up. This really does have some of that richness that the original La Nuit de Lome has before it has been slowly reformulated over the years. Up until this one right here, uh, for 99% of people, I would say it is not worth hunting down and paying the money on vintage Lanoui de Lome. Luckily now, you don't have to. So that's basically 100%. Don't pay inflated prices for this stuff when you can get blue electric. Obviously, there are going to still be some differences, and we'll cover that in other points in this video, but it gets you closer than you would initially expect. Great great throwback to that original DNA. Reason number two why you need blue electric in your collection is it has great longevity. So that's another thing that people have struggled with over the years as Lanoui de Lome has been reformulated. It seems as though people have claimed that the longevity has decreased. Now this fragrance DNA has never been like a beast mode fragrance. So again, even going back to these vintage bottles right here, which have the metal cap, I mean, very heavy bottle. Um, see it's got the bigger collar around there the cap is metal can you hear that metal um, so that's kind of the difference there nice click uh, heavy duty bottles I wish they would still make them like that but that's not gonna happen um, those were never beast mode fragrances okay and this DNA was never meant to be so when you're buying blue electric or if you're going out and buying vintage Lanoui de Lome if you're expecting 12 plus hours of longevity you're just doing it wrong. For me, this one gets eight hours on average, sometimes even a bit longer, sometimes a bit less, depending on the circumstances, but consistently great longevity. Third reason why you need Lanoui de Lone Blue Electric in your collection is it has a little bit of a modern twist on the original DNA. So the way I look at this one is, you know how Armani came out with Armani Code Eau de Parfum, which was this year, right? Early in the year. That one there is a great fragrance. Of course, I still love Absolute. I still love Profumo. Those flankers are really hard to beat, but I really like Armani Code EDP. And what they did there was they took that original DNA, they brought it back to life, they refreshed it, gave it a little bit of a modern twist, they fixed the performance, and they released it to us, right? That's what they did. They just kind of brought it back to life. And I really like Armani Code EDP. And to me, it's kind of a similar thing here with this one where they kind of reached back 
they they looked at the richness and just the magic of La Nuit de Lome before it was changed over the years. They tried to recapture that the best they could. They also added a little bit of a modern twist. You get a little bit more of a, like a lavender dose out of this one. A little bit more of a clean smell. Still get a whole bunch of cardamom, but you know what I'm saying? It just kind of has a, a refreshed smell. So it's not like a one-to-one -one clone of La Nuit de Lome. There's just a tiny bit of a refresher but it, it's done in a very tasteful way, and I think that makes it interesting as well. Fourth reason why you need Blue Electrique in your collection is it's one of the best date fragrances of all time. This DNA is absolutely killer, and it always will be in my opinion. And so before Blue Electrique, for me, La Nuit de Lo, just the original, Eau de Toilette was the best date fragrance. At this point now, I'm really shifting all of my focus and all of my attention to Blue Electrique, and this one's going to be kind of taking uh, La Nuit de Lome's place when I talk about the best date fragrance. At this point, I think this is the better buy, even at retail prices. I will link it down below. Yes, it's not discounted yet, but I don't really think it necessarily needs to be. Even when these are discounted, La Nuit de Lome, Lome, all of the other flankers, you're not saving a huge amount of money. So it's obviously going to be up to you. I don't know when they're going to hit discounters. We don't even have the 100 mil bottles here in the U.S. yet. I don't think that's necessarily going to be coming really soon. So I think your best bet if you want it is just to grab it. But that's on you. Depends on what you want to do. For me, I have no regrets paying retail price for it. I love it. Fifth reason why you need this fragrance is it's a cardamom forward scent. So this note here, cardamom, is such a fun, unique, interesting note. It's something that's so easy to pick up on, so easy to distinguish. It gives off a nice spicy, warm, oriental smell. And ultimately, the cardamom is what makes La Nuit de Lome La Nuit de Lome. That's kind of the main reason why, back in the day, the original La Nuit de Lome rose to the surface and got so much hype. It's because of that unique cardamom note mixing with the lavender. It gives off this warm spiciness and ultimately creates something that's very unique. And so if you want a cardamom forward fragrance, something that's going to be very wearable, something that'll be very likable to not only you, but the people around you, Blue Electrique is probably the best place to start. The sixth reason why you need Blue Electrique in your collection is it is a fragrance that can be used for fall and winter time regular use. So when I talk about this DNA, for me, I basically use it as like a date night fragrance or an evening fragrance or that sort of thing. The reason why is because it, it just works so well for me for that particular scenario or multiple scenarios that that's just my preference. And I have the luxury of being able to have some other fragrances that I can wear on a day-to-day -day basis to kind of stash this one away for maybe a bit more of a special occasion. However, if you don't have a ridiculous amount of fragrances and you're building up a collection that's more normal, then you can use this one for fall and wintertime regular use. You can wear it to school if you wanted to. You could wear it to work. It really doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be only a date fragrance. That's just my preference, but you can wear it whenever you want. It has a lot of versatility in the cooler weather, also making it just a great pickup. Seventh reason why you need this one in your collection should be no surprise. We'll just run through it quick, but compliments. It's a great compliment getter. No surprise, no shock. This DNA absolutely kills it. That was the main reason why this original La Nuit de Lome got hyped up to the moon back in the day. And that's why it still stays relevant because it just works really well for that. Eighth reason why you need this fragrance in your collection is it has a very unique DNA. Now, before everyone loses their mind about this, this fragrance is unique, okay? It is. There, there's nothing else out there that smells like it. The disconnect happens when you have a fragrance that is very popular, okay? And in this instance, more or less this bottle right here because this one came out. Fragrance that's very popular. A lot of people get their hands on it. A lot of people wear it. It's unique. But all of a sudden, because apparently a lot of people are wearing it, a lot of people talk about it, People think that that cuts down on the the creativity and the uniqueness and the, the magic of the scent. And that couldn't be further from the truth. Like I've said before, with fragrances like La Nuit de Lome, with Aqua de Jo, with Dolce & Gabbana the One, they're a victim of their own success. They smell so great, they work so well that everyone flocks to them, everyone wants to wear it because it smells good. That doesn't make the fragrance not unique anymore. You can't have something be unique when it first comes out and it's the pioneer of the DNA. And then over time, as it, it's still out there and still really the only thing that it smells like, you can't say that's not unique anymore because there really aren't many other fragrances out there that smell like Lana Weed alone. 
That's just the truth. I'm sure there are some clone brands that have their clones and interpretations of it, but from mainstream designer brands, they're not putting out things that smell like this. And so yeah, it is unique. And if you want something that's unique and smells different, that maybe will be a bit of a challenge for you initially, this one here is a nice option. Ninth reason why you need a blue electric is it's a great introduction into warm and spicy scents. So say you're still starting off building your collection, you have your Nautica Voyages, you have your blue fragrances, your freshies, aquatics, right? That's kind of what you're working with. And that's normal. That's typically how a lot of people will get into fragrances is they'll start with the fresher ones because they are just safer, easier to like. But now you're like, okay, you know, I've discovered this genre. I've discovered this side of fragrance, perfumery. I want to start getting into warmer and spicier fragrances. Where should I go? And personally for me, I think Blue Electrique, Lana Vie Delone, is a great option, a great way to dive into warm, spicy, and inviting fragrances. Again, it's got that versatility, has that mass appeal, has that uniqueness. It's got the nice cardamom note. I think this is a fantastic place to start. And the 10th reason why you need Blue Electrique in your collection is it's great for all ages. This, to me, does not have a juvenile or youthful smell to it. To me, this isn't a sweet fragrance like, you know, Paco Rabanne 1 million to throw out an example that everyone knows. That's a sweet scent, right? I think we can all agree. When I smell Blue Electrique, it's not that it's really sweet. It's just kind of warm and spicy and a bit powdery. And there's kind of a difference between being powdery and being sweet because this overall comes across a bit more dusty, a bit more uh, refined, just less like syrupy sweet, less sweet overall. It doesn't have any sort of bubble gummy aspect about it. Uh, I just don't really classify this as a sweet fragrance. And a lot of times with sweet fragrances, they'll get the, uh, the youthful, juvenile label slapped on them. And a lot of times it is justified. The sweeter fragrances for men oftentimes will appeal to the younger crowd. And with this fragrance here, I think this is one that a teenager can wear. I also think someone in their 40s, 50s, 60s can wear it if they enjoyed it. I just think it has a very wide age range that it can appeal to. Ultimately, making it very versatile and a great pickup again. Alrighty guys, there you have it. That is 10 reasons why you need Lanoui de Lome Blue Electrique in your fragrance collection. I've been loving this stuff so much. I've been wearing it so often. I wore it yesterday. I'm wanting to wear it again today, but I feel like I should change it up and wear something different. So it's kind of that internal battle of, eh, should I change it up? Should I keep wearing it? I could wear this days in a row. It's no joke. It smells fantastic. I love it. It completely rekindles my love for the original Lanoui de Lome back when I first spelled it. Back when I first smelled it, not spelled it. Although, I did spell it for the first time back when I smelled it, so it makes sense. I will link this one down below if you want to check it out for yourself. Let me know also down below, what do you think of the fragrance? Do you like it? Do you not like it? What are some other fragrances you want to see me do this topic on? And I will get it done. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you tomorrow with another one. Take care.